I was packing for summer vacation with my family and it was a classic act of cognitive dissonance because anyone here will tell you. I have the Weather Channel on in my house on at least one TV most of the time. Uh, and it's a trait I think I inherited from my father. I'm obsessed with it. I think there's a, it's a great thing that we have a Weather Channel. I was the happiest employee when we entered into the partnership <laughs> to acquire them. And uh, I will use, uh, unabashedly use Weather Channel personnel uh, at, at any turn in our newscast. I love reading columnists who theorize that we're being forced to uh, uh, do that because of corporate rules. No, that's me wanting the Weather <laughs> Channel people on the air. So I knew, obviously, every detail of the storm. I knew it was going to blow up into a five. But with my other hat on, the head of a family of four had rented a house and we were going to go to the shore. I was loading up the car like Clark W. Griswold. <laughs> and uh, my friend and boss, Steve Kappas, called and said, buddy, um, we got we to gotta move. And I, I had known it intellectually, but I hadn't wrapped my arms around it. So my only request of him was, as long as we're going, let's really go and let's get me inside the Superdome, which I already learned was being called the shelter of last resort. We have an hour-long documentary that I just saw a rough version of that's going to be airing uh, in concurrence with the anniversary. When I got back from Katrina, one of our producers thought it would be a good idea to sit me actually in the studio across the hall from where we're sitting. I, it was still raw, and I was still angry and shaken up by what I had seen in my country, uh, including but not limited to dead bodies on street corners and dead bodies floating by in the water and people being forced to go without food and water for days. And so the documentary will explain that these are five year ago memories, brings you right back into that time period. I wish in the most altruistic sense, I wish every American could see it because you forget and memories fuzz up and people right now are anxious to repair legacies from back then. We shouldn't, uh, we shouldn't because we were failed by a lot of people. And I think, we were, I think we were lied to regarding that response. I was there on the ground with everyone who was suffering, and I was part of that audience being told, assets are on the way, assets are in place, we have a plan. Well, they didn't, and uh, people suffered and people died. So that's my memory. So it's five years now, but do you think the media in between have done a good job in following this story straight through, or have you fallen down at all? No, I think, I think uh, various people uh, have fallen down. I think none of us have kept the focus up as we should, though I just saw opinion research from New Orleans and the level of optimism, the, the number of people who feel the city is recovering well is up 14 percent. Seventy percent of the population now optimistic uh, about New Orleans. That heartens me. Um, and if I can speak up for the home team, I, I have I lost count of the number of um, trips we've made and broadcasts we've remoted. Uh, I think it's something like 26, 27 times we've gone down there. And Steve Kappas has said to us, when you feel like doing the broadcast from there, go do it. And we have kept the attention on. We, I think by dint of the fact that we were there for it. I think by dint of the fact that we were the last ones allowed into the Superdome and the first ones they allowed out when those big corrugated steel doors opened the next day, that certainly fused me to New Orleans. And the mayor's been kind enough to invite me to be a small part of the remembrance and commemoration and I hope celebration um, that's going to go on there. They did not need this added complication of 90 days worth of crude oil in those waters. Nightly News, of course, has your name in it, where Brian Williams is the anchor. How much of the show is Brian Williams? How much of the show is other people in the news flow itself? Well, for example, I guess it was, uh, we were getting dinner ready last night and I was standing in my kitchen. I sent a four point uh, Blackberry email to our executive producer today and said, here's what I'm interested in for tomorrow. Um, the old expression, if you want to give God a good laugh, tell him your plans for tomorrow, uh, <laughs> often holds true in the news business as well. 
Um, but as has often been said, perhaps the most coveted part of my title is the second half, and that's uh, managing editor. You always want to balance. Uh, I'm not very smart, as I've established here, and I view the world a certain way. I'm a certain type of person. The best newsroom is a newsroom with all kinds of, uh, of people. The uh, ultra smarts, the, the dim bulbs, the, the folks who represent the people in the audience watching, um, a good geographic and cross-section in every other way in life. True diversity, I think, makes us best because that's what our audience is. Um, I, I do have a thing about my copy. If I haven't written it or edited it, I will fall all over it. Um, I refer to a change in copy. Once I'm sitting here and we're underway, the broadcast is on the air. If someone inserts something that I don't know about, I will find it and trip over it. Uh, I have to have comfort with the words. The words have to be mine. They have to plausibly sound like me. Um, in the words in the broadcast I don't write, I've driven good men and women writers crazy over the years, I'm afraid. It's completely impossible to occupy the head of another individual, and we, we have a number of people who try awfully hard to figure out on those pages that I can't write, how would, how would he say this? And sometimes it's up to mood and flow of the broadcast, where the item is. Uh, it's hard to pinpoint. The new thing I hear from viewers that, that is intended to be even more flattering than I watch you every night is I TiVo you every night. Mm -hmm. That uh, is a message to me that they have taken a positive step to go out and seek our product, hold on to it, play it at their leisure. Um, I think, as a practical matter, our promotion should should always reflect that that is an option open to everybody. I've been hearing that Katie Kirk may come back to NBC. Your old colleague, Katie Kirk. I, I, read, I read something about it. She certainly knows her way around this building, and, and most of us who are here were here when she was here, and I see her all the time, so uh, I, I, will, I will let all those forces uh, play out as they might. The uh, last thing I'm going to do is get involved in inter-network politics. Would you recruit her personally and say, come on back, we miss you? If, uh, well, I can't do that as a freelance, but right, uh, right. if requested, she doesn't need me to call her and, and, uh, and tell her that she's always welcome over here. There's a very small community of people in this line of work, and um, uh, uh, the relationship uh, between viewers and, and Katie is well established. President Obama mentioned before, what surprised you so far about the approval ratings and his performance in the White House? Well, you, you read uh, Maureen Dowd and others, and everyone these days is talking about the fire from the left. Um, if you have covered politics, if you've read anything about it, you know the Democrats have a way um, of, as one columnist always says, eating their young. <laughs> um, the Republicans, and a lot of this has to do with the sway of the power pendulum and who's hungrier at any given time. But the fact that he is taking such substantial fire from the left, I find uh, interesting. I, you know, your, your interview with David Remnick, there's a guy who can much better cast judgment. It's hard to believe both of us are products of New Jersey, yet his IQ is in seven figures, um, <laughs> and mine certainly is not. Most days I'm lucky to crack three. Um, but there's a guy who we're lucky to be alive in this time of great thinkers, writers, and historians, all of whom I will let pass judgment on this presidency as we cover just the incremental day slices.